Hi everyone, welcome back to A Better Biomed. I was talking with somebody earlier today and they asked me what exactly do I do for a living and I realized I hadn't made a video yet to fully explain to you guys what it is that I do. So I'm going to remedy that today. The simple explanation is a biomed repairs and calibrates medical equipment, but we do so much more than that. Biomeds are like the jack of all trades for a hospital. We specialize in pneumatics, hydraulics, electronics, complex mechanical systems, and we also have a fair bit of knowledge on physiology, anatomy, and the clinical applications of the medical equipment. We are also medical staff trainers, construction project managers, inventory specialists, public speakers, quality control, life safety code, process improvement, infection control prevention, audio and video experts, we're metal workers, electricians, plumbers, and we're the hospital's lead problem solvers. Sounds challenging, right? Yes, it can be for sure. Every day you're gonna learn something new and the job is never gonna plateau. One day you think you know everything and you're gonna be proven wrong. That's just how it is. Once you master a task, you're going to be given more responsibility and that's going to push your career even further. No two days are going to be the same. That's just the way it is. The number one question that I'm asked is what type of education is required to become a biomed? The simple answer is usually a two-year technical degree or a technical diploma or military training. But I've met biomeds that come from all walks of life. And some of the best biomeds I've ever worked with came from non-technical backgrounds. Biomeds are ranked based on experience. You have your Biomed 1, which is usually 0 to 3 years worth of experience. You've got a Biomed 2, which is usually 3 to 6 years worth of experience. And then there's the Biomed 3, which is usually around 4 to 6 years worth of experience. Some hospitals also have a Biomed 4, or a Biomed Supervisor or a Biomed Specialist. And they're all about the same ranking, usually in a semi-managerial type of role. There's several areas where Biomeds can specialize. There's Area 1, which is usually general biomedical equipment that includes patient monitoring, medical beds, nurse call systems, and other simple devices. The second area where Biomeds can specialize is laboratories. And in laboratories, you're going to find things like clinical analyzers, centrifuges, and large refrigerators and freezers. The third area where biomeds can specialize is surgical, which is what I do. And in surgical, you can find various types of lasers, giant microscopes, surgical tables, and all sorts of other technology. Surgical usually gets some of the latest and greatest, so you never know what's going to walk in the door. The fourth area where biomeds can specialize is imaging. And in imaging, that's where you're going to find your ultrasounds, various types of x-rays, nuclear gamma cameras, and other large crazy devices. Imaging is usually the best paying area, but it's also some of the most complex equipment that you'll ever find in the civilian world. The fifth area where biomeds can specialize is your clinical engineers and your biomed management but I don't really feel like I need to go into very much detail there. The pay scale for biomeds can go anywhere from around $25,000 a year for a biomed one all the way up to well above $100,000 a year depending on the modality that you're trained in which is your specialty. The more motivated and trainable you are the more money you're gonna make. It's that simple. I can tell you that biomeds are in an extremely high demand right now. There's job openings in almost every single city that I can think of, and we can easily relocate between states, which is very rare for medical jobs, because there's no official licensure for biomeds. I don't know if I can think of anything else at the moment to tell you about my job. If you have any questions about how to become a biomedical equipment technician, or about the career field in general, just feel free to leave me some questions in the comments section below and I'll get to them as soon as I can. Hospitals are always looking for trainable, motivated candidates. 
perhaps I'll see you on a team in the future. Thanks for watching guys. If you liked the video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and stay tuned. I've got plenty of excellent videos that I'm working on. I'll get them to you as fast as I can produce them. Thanks for watching.